The audio is not on, is it? There it is. It is now. All right. Good the evening and. Not on, is it? There it is. It is now. All right. All right. Good the evening and on, welcome to the mid-season right. finale. Good evening the and on, welcome it? to the. Is there an echo or are we finale? good? Good evening and welcome. To... All right. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, so uh, <clears throat> one of our players is currently having some. Okay, I am echoing. Okay, am I echoing now? Better one, better two. Better, better one, one, better, better two. two. Going to... No? No echoing? Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> Uh, tonight is our mid-season finale. Yeah, uh, Selk is uh, waiting for a locksmith. Please stay safe. Um, keep your head on a swivel out there. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we got your spot reserved for when you, you arrive. And, uh, yeah, we, we'll, be, we'll be here when you get back. Just stay safe out there. Um, Matt is in the middle of moving right now, so kind of hard to drop the boxes. <clears throat> um, and then Cole is currently dealing with a brand new baby. Uh, and uh, Lisa's been dealing with summer school. So it has been Murphy's Law, essentially, has hit our, our party. Um, but as soon as Selkie's here... Um, she'll be able to pop on, and we can deal with... Oh, yeah, Selkie, an update for your character. She pop got, on, and we can pop got, off. Yeah. Yes. Uh, why do you make everything sound weird? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's me. It's true. Uh, so, Selkie, uh, to give you an update on your character, um, she's she's a candle again. She got stuffed right back in, in a glass bottle, but Hold Person was not cast on her this time. So I have a feeling I know what you're going to do when you get here. Um, <clears throat> uh, when we left off, my Abigail, my Abigail, <laughs> my Abigail was uh, busy summoning demons and opening portals. Sir Wellington got summoned into the middle of the ritual somehow. Decided to mess got, it up. Got bamfed. Yep, got bamfed over. Um, now I'm with Marcus in the realm of the gods, yeah, ready to is. fight a guardian. Yeah, so... And Marcus is about to get his butt wiped. He, yeah. Um, so Sir Wellington was bamfed over to Abigail, tried to disrupt the ritual... Ended up not doing so because Kisten talked him out of it. Got bamfed out of there by Coraline, uh, who cast banishment on him. Uh, managed to bamf himself back to where Marcus is. Um, and then Marcus opened a portal to Celestia, the realm of the gods, where they went in and promptly were told they had to leave or they would be killed as two guardians took... No, we were not soon. given an option to leave. Oh, you're right. They didn't. They just were like, sorry, we'll have to arrest you now. <clears throat> they said, you did a oopsie daisy. That's right. You're going did. into the slammer. Yep, they did. Yeah. And the goddess was like, I'll help you fight them. Um, that's right. They did. They just straight up went. Uh, so you would you, you would you think that the guardians the... would be like, all right, the goddess said this. Let's listen to the goddess. Hey, you think. To be fair, this is technically two years before the other events that happened in Celestia. Um, uh, Selkie is familiar with a sequel campaign that I have been running, uh, which is set two to three years after this one. 
This is about 17, 172.96. Uh, the other one was set in about 172.98, 172.99, about that time. <sighs> A couple months, actually. <clears throat> so, yeah, so welcome to episode 20, Ancient Darkness. It's not an ominous title. It's fine. Not at all. Um, I believe we are starting with uh, Sir Wellington. As oh, oh by the yippee. way, yep. Um, by the way, uh, Selkie, I'm gonna rag on Matt. I realized he has been suspiciously absent for every combat session. The combat session where he was going to look for Callie, he was absent and therefore got knocked out and skipped combat. The combat session where they had to fight the Were Demons, he was absent and got knocked out and got skipped combat. And now fighting the gods, he is. Absent and gets... Well, I'll probably just knock him out again. Um, maybe I'll put him in the slammer and then I'll have to fight his way out of, Cel fight, fight his way out of Celestia. That's not a bad idea. Um, so, <laughs> definitely an episode of Sunshine and Rainbows. So, um, it's, it's fine. We're all fine here. Um, how are you? I mean... Yeah, right. Uh, just leave him there. That's the plan. Leave him there for two to three years. Uh, so, oh yeah, he was present for the early combat sessions where they were fighting against Undead, the Spectres, and Abigail, ironically. So, uh, without further ado, for the last time for a few weeks, Ian, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi. Is, um, is that a warning? I put, Sorry, Selkie. Safe currently? Is that like, are you letting us know you're under attack or something? Like, is that code for something? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> All right, sorry, um, continue, Ian. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 Ian, I, I, um, I, 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 I play uh, a, a little, a little dude play like sir wellington and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get my ass handed to me today and i'm not looking forward to it because i'm fighting things that probably are way above my power level unless ollie decides to be like oh cool heel flip ollie oop i'm gonna probably die and it's not it's not gonna be cool because uh mr mr mark uh mr marcus decided to uh like uh, pass out from sheer excitement of being in Celestia, and I'm going to die, and it's going to be his fault if I die. That's all. Fair enough. Um, you, you know who you are, and you know who you have to introduce. Me? Yes, you! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who else is in call? Well, I didn't... Listen. I don't know. I didn't know if... You... Okay. My name is Naz. I play Abigail. All right. Yes. She's, she's here. Naz plays Abigail. Short yeah. And sweet, as usual. Um, Let us start off with combat. Could you roll initiative for me? Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he really wants to do it. Uh, 17. Seventeen. Yep. Now I get to roll for the lovely fellas. Okay. Okay. Somehow you're going before one of them. Cool. What's your what's your dexterity? My dexterity plus three? Okay. Why? Oh no, I, I did math wrong. Never mind, you're going before the goddess too. <laughs> okay. She didn't roll in that one, but she did roll a one adjacent on her initiative. So <laughs> I guess she's surveying the scene before she decides to take action. 
It's okay. The first one is going to make his attack against um, Marcus. Which will definitely hit. I won't give him damage because I want to be nice to him. So he'll just... What's going to have damage? He's just going to knock out. Here's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> the, the, the guardian to, to his right, uh, to his left. Grabs him and does the Dad Vulcan. moves over. <laughs> no, not Vulcan. Vulcan. <laughs> the Vulcan pressure point and Marcus just collapses. Yeah, that would sound nicer. Now, the guy's just going to take his large um, glaive and swing down at him and just kind of, it's just going like, to kind of catch him in the underarm and send him, it's, um, have you ever seen someone play golf? Oh, yeah, you got to be a little bit more specific than that. So, you know, <laughs> you, you like, you chip the ball and it just, woo! Basically, uh-huh. that happens so, to Marcus. So, are, are we seeing Marcus go, woo <laughs> Basically, he gets caught in That's the it. underarm, and, and it definitely draws some blood. He's bleeding, and he, like, hurls up and pfft, into a nearby wall. Out cold. Yeah. Uh, and, and here, now I it's thought your I turn. was a magician. I thought I was a magician. Guardians over here casting, you just delete us. <laughs> To be fair, if um, he was present, it probably would not have happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Oh, oh, um, not, not, oh, not his original goddess. The other forest goddess that he switched to. Um, Ali. Ali Ababwa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not that one. We're not um, here. We're not going to see Kaliadne. No, it's not Kaliadne. They're both forest goddesses. They are. He literally jumped ship from one forest goddess to another. I don't think he jumped shipped. I think he went. Ah, you're available right now. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Hello, this goddess of the forest is not available right now. Please leave a message, effort. Hi, sorry, she's busy. Um, but I'm here so, at the office. So... I, I see that I have access to a certain 8th level thing. Am I allowed to cast that? A certain 8th level thing. On my character sheet. Oh. Eek. Now I must go to your character sheet and we will see. If not, that's okay. If, if I am, dope. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to do that. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, Dan, I'm going to look at the one that just yeeted Marcus and um I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to uh Is he is he near the other guardian at the same time? Like, what does it? What does this battle for you to look like? Um. All right. So, a Greek amphitheater. Uh-huh. You guys are on the stage. Uh huh. And the portal is kind of this archway behind you. Uh huh. And. So- if I t- if I target this more, I guess what I'm asking is there a way that I can target this one thing, but also maybe and get uh, the other guardian both within a thirty foot cube without getting Ollie. Oh yeah, you could definitely do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. They just yeeted um, Marcus to the far end of the st- yeah of the, yeah. The, yeah. I'm not worried about Marcus. And he's Mar- up Marcus. in the stands. So he's safe, and then she's she's a bit more to your right, there in front of you, and to your left. Okay, so there's is there a point at which I can mark, and then there's like they would both be within a thirty foot cube of each other. 
Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um and I'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh I am gonna cast Avi Dalzim's horde wilting. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Um constitution saving throw. Yes. Two of them coming up for the two deity beings. All right. Um, that that's is. a 19. And that is a 15. One does not pass. Um so it's a unique racial ability actually. Are they are they are either of them constructs or undead? They are not. Okay. They cool. are celestials. Um interesting so um, here's an interesting see. thing about this um can you, can you give me a perception check with advantage actually kind of want him to notice yeah, this let me see in a second uh so he's gonna the the one is gonna just uh be taking the the moisture is gonna get start sucking out of them and uh, the one is going to take uh, 62 points of damage. Necrotic damage. Holy frick. Oh. Um, on, and the other one, uh, on a failed save, is going to take half. So 31 points of necrotic damage. All right. Um, and then you wanted uh, perception. Eighteen. Holy cow! You know, I might not have made these guys powerful enough to deal with Sir Wellington. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can only do that once. So. Yeah, but you still have a goddess who goes next. Yeah, eighteen for perception. Okay. Um, none of the plants wither. That are in that area. It says non-magical plants instantly wither and die. Yeah. Which tells you that all the plants here are magical. Each one contains some sort of magical properties if harvested. <laughs> well, well, then shouldn't they be uh, doing... Um... Con saves, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> it's... And they do it at disadvantage because they're right. they're a plant or water element. Pla plants or water elementals do okay. it at disadvantage. I'm not rolling for every blade of grass here. I'm just going <laughs> to do group rolls. Yeah, that's fine. 19. Dang. Oh, well, you wanted to kill the plants. Interestingly no, enough. I, I'm just, I, I'm just saying that these plants got some nice constitution is all I'm saying. So, so um, the at they disadvantage, that's 17. Uh, meets it, beats it. Wow. The plants did better than the celestials. Um, they still take the 30 points, though, right? Yeah, 31 points okay. of damage. In that case, with the perception, you notice that they seem to resist it as if they're fighting back. And then, because they don't have 32 points of health, their they're plants, they take half the damage and all shrivel up. <laughs> but but they resisted long the enough best. for you to process, huh, these are magical in nature. I, I look at the guys and I go, and see, that's what happens when you mess with the child. <laughs> I, why why do you not let us just talk to person and leave? We did nothing to you. You brought this upon yourself. Now face the moistening. Well, like the demoistening. Roll invent roll intimidation. <clears throat> I am not rolling No, he actually casts a unique spell. It is called twenty four. Abby Dalzim's Horrid Wilting. 24? 24. Yeah. Holy crab nuggets. All right, now I got to roll against that. Huh. 
One kind of looks at him with this expression of... Are you really threatening the Guardians of the Gods? The other one looks at Sir Wellington and then at the damage done to himself. This is the one that you dealt more damage to, by the way. And then looks at the grass and everything else. All these magical plants containing amazing healing properties that you just decimated. And he takes off at a sprint. You better run! <laughs> and then his wings extend and he takes off flying towards the nearest city. Okay. That's his turn. Yep. That is his turn because he was the other one. Um... <laughs> So uh, that just leaves Ollie, and she is going to square off against the other one and hold her action, um, pending whether or not a certain thing happens. Now we are back to the top of the round with the one that capoodled um, your pal. All right. And he is going to turn towards you now. And he will move to attack. Does an 18 hit Sir Wellington? Yes. All right. She's going to move now. She's going to use her reaction to impose disadvantage as she steps in front and blocks his attack. Does a 15 um, hit? As, as as I get hit, I'm I'm going to I'm I'm going to yell. So this is how the gods treat children here. And I'm going to cast Hellish Rebuke. He hasn't hit you. Uh, he has to roll at disadvantage yet because he has to roll at disadvantage. Um, the goddess Ooh. used her reaction to impose disadvantage on his he's... attack roll. Oh, yeah. okay. So we'll see. That doesn't anything. Um, well, I don't know. Does a 12 hit you? No. Okay. Then in that case, he misses. <laughs> he's Never going mind. to. I don't, I don't say of... anything. I'm just like. <laughs> he will attack again. Oh, nice. All right, does a 15 hit you? Yes. Okay. Now you can cast Seller's Rebuke. Now, now I go, is this how you treat children here? And, as and you I ca do ca All cast right. Seller's Rebuke Hellish on him. Seller's Rebuke, wonderful. That's going to go uh -huh. really well, casting a demonic spell in Celestia. <laughs> no way. He rolled a 1 on damage, so that's only... That's only um six points of damage. Okay. That could have been so much worse. <laughs> Why is it not letting me you you have this so I cannot change anything, just so you know. Oh, that's good. Because I can't I can't damage myself. <gasps> well that ain't good. Oh, it's a weird D and D Beyond thing. So you just, if you want to, just damage me. <laughs> I will hurt you. Now I feel bad. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's okay. You so... actually have pretty good health. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Um, dexterity saving throw, and he is going to roll it. <laughs> that's a natural three, so that's gonna fail. I'm pretty sure. What's the DC? Seventeen. Yeah, no, he fails. Okay. Ah, uh, to eto eto eto. Destroy Guardians of the Galaxy. Not these guys. Just the Guardians of Celestia. Eight points of damage. Eight points? Flames hey, ripple around him and he takes eight points of damage. Minus eight. 
Add that to his total. Why would I want you to locate my location? Don't do that. It's fire damage. <clears throat> fire. He lets out a shriek. <laughs> and he just goes, Oh my god, it's a demon! Hellish flames! Hellish flames! And uh, this guy is now under the impression that you either are or worship demons due to casting Hellish Rebuke on him. You're right. He can't. Fine. He can't say... Oh, <laughs> he can't say all oh, my... <laughs> all right, then. Um, oh, my Ollie! <laughs> oh, my Ollie! <laughs> He'll say something. He, he'll basically the guy's freaking out. He's on fire. He's freaking out. He just saw hellish magic being used here. He's convinced that this individual worships devils now. Is it my turn? It is your turn. Ah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look at him and uh, I'm gonna be like, um. You ready for more, buddy boy? And I'm going to cast uh, Immolation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, then. So it's another dexterity it's saving another dexterity throw. dexterity saving throw? Yeah. That's a 16. No, it doesn't pass. That's a pass? It does not pass. Oh, it does not pass. No. Oh. So, uh, that is 29 points of fire damage. Um, on a failed save, the target burns for the spell's duration, uh, which is now concentrating up for a minute. The burning target is going to shed bright light in 30 foot radius and dim light for additional 30 foot. Um, and then at the end of each of its turn, it needs to repeat the saving throw or take and it takes an additional 46 fire damage failed um and the spell ends on a successful one huh burn him all right so he's going to take how much damage per turn so you gotta factor that in now. Forty-six if he fails. Forty-six. And is that the beginning or at the end of his turn? At the end. All right. So it is now Ollie's turn. She is still going to wait. No, she's going. She's going to turn to him and say, "If you're going to." No, she's going to hold her action. She's going to hold her action. She's waiting to see. She'll, she'll, she'll talk to her. She'll use a free action and say, I do suggest you leave. And leave now. Is she talking to me? No, she's talking to him. And he rolled higher than her, so he will look at her and say, You know the rules. I Sucks obey suck, Elion, not the gods of the council. He obeys early on? Not early on, Elion. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, we Tally's know. brother we... is truly the highest of gods. Oh my god, we <laughs> yeah, know that guy. Yo, I know him. We're buddies. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. She's gonna vouch for Early on is an evil being who is trying to create a coup within the heavens. Um, so now your mission is to go back and kill Early on. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Do not cite the deep magic to me. <laughs> kind of that energy. And he is going to make his attack against Sir Wellington again, which she will again block, and he will just growl, step aside that I may do my job. This is a worshipper of demons and devils on our doorstep. 
Would you let that kind in here? That, that's not nice <laughs> to say. She manages to trip him and he falls prone at her feet. Oh, because uh, that's a nat one at disadvantage. So he does not get his second attack. Um, now I need to oh. roll to see if he... Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw at disadvantage because he's lying down now. Right? That's how that works? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that will be <laughs> definitely be a failure. That is a 13. Okay, so he takes... Let's see. Let me do my the roll here. Uh, 21 points of damage. Look at you killing gods. Did it die? Not yet, but he's down to 21 hit points. <laughs> oh. You have taken down more than 80% of his health in two rounds. Who turns? <laughs> Damn. You this guy has a, a beefy amount of health, and you are just decimating this guy. Um, and because you it was a, meant for two people too. So yeah. one thing's like, nah, I I'm got I'm thinking this. I had I didn't make them fast. Between the two, they had well over two hundred hit points. They're not gods. They are guardians. They're basically angels. They are not actually gods. They are they are god servants, servants of the gods. They are celestial beings. So for his attempt to get back up, and he was going to make an acrobatics check to, to jump back up uh, so that he could take one more swipe at Sir Wellington, he rolled a second, not one. Yes! This dude this sucks is about 220, 230 hit points, something like that, between the two of them. I thought that would be more than... Yeah, well... All right, so I need to beef up my Celestials. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> they have very hard-to-hit armor. They have DC-20 armor, okay? No, well, so that's ragging armor. On me. That, that's armor. Yay, spellcasters! Yeah, I know. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> that you can just make them try and do deck saves the whole time. <laughs> Which is brilliant. So, so they're lower ranked guards, okay? We'll say that. They're not like commanders. They're hard for you. Just tell yourself whatever you need to tell yourself. Fair enough. Um. Okay, so she manages to... So it's now... Now Ollie will use her held action. She's going to... Stri thank you. Strike no, at I him. Do not, I do not have more health than a god, Selkie. I was scaling them to these guys' level, just so you know. They're just... These are base level guards. These aren't, like, mm. wartime guys. These are... Because they're not expecting this portal to be used. It's not been used in, like... 30,000 years or something like that. So uh -huh, they, they, they put a couple of like, you know, rookie guards basically on in charge here. Then they're not the, although speaking of which, can I get another perception check from you? Yeah. Seventeen. We love you too, Selkie. Oh, perfect. You hear in the distance, a clamor, a sound. As you kind of glance up to the sky, there are about a dozen winged horses flying in, uh, each one carrying a more heavily armed guard, uh, more heavily armed. Oh, shoot. The um, Valkyrie come. Individual uh, being led by the guard that fled. All right, there you go. Selkie, thank you. It's now canon. Um, these guys are weaker guards. Um, the, so the Valkyries are all female, so these aren't technically Valkyries. They're just, they ride winged horses. <laughs> is it my turn? It is your turn. Oh, wait, Ollie is, Ollie's turn first. Oh, no, you know what? She'll hold your, her turn until after your turn. She held her action. I was debating when I, when, when she should go. Okay, he's going to, like, go like this and, mm -hmm. like, kind of, like, go whoop 
and like point a finger behind his back and like cast fireball. All right, then. Uh, deck um, save at disadvantage because he's lying down. He's already on fire. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. Yeah, Just more, is, more is fire. A That's a 16. Injury. Does not pass. Okay, so. Twenty-eight points of fire damage. Twenty-eight. Yeah. How do you want to do this? This is just a big ball, a blow up of, of of fire. So that's it. Boom. The guy's already rolling around on the ground. Um, I think I said he, earlier he, he, he tried, tried to stop, to drop, and roll. He tried to roll in acrobatics to to roll and put out the fire and jump back up to his feet. He rolled ha, a second ha, nat ha, one. Ha, ha. Two nat ones in a turn, so he was just flailing about on the ground. The uh, only, the only thing that can put that out, that fire out, baby, is this the spell ending or passing your save. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. So yeah, you you blast him. These deities that are flying in, or uh, well, not deities. These these celestials that are flying in see this this gnome child cast. More fire onto the already hellish flames that lick around their comrade and torch his body. How do um, they know they're hellish flames at that point? Because he shouted after the first one as he was fleeing. <laughs> do you did, the other one, did the other one pass her perception check? <laughs> I can roll and see. Yeah, they passed. <laughs> It's not a nat 20, though, so that's something. But congratulations, you are now banned from going to Celestia for sure. I didn't <laughs> want to come here to begin with. <laughs> I didn't know that this is where we were going to end up. Well, now if you show up ever, they'll be like... You have committed crimes against Celestia and her people. Now if I show up her, ever, I'll come prepared. <laughs> With fire. Next time I'll be like, ready for round two, Sakura! <laughs> <laughs> um, she will look approvingly down and go, well done. We must move, quickly. Okay. He's just gonna start running towards her. Alright. Um, she will walk through the portal. Wait, what, what, what about Marcus? Oh, she's she already went through. Uh, how far away? Oh, jeez. Let me roll and see how far he rolled. Flew. So double of that. What's nineteen times two? Uh. 38. 38. He's 38 feet away. Okay. Um. Jeez. Great. Um. Okay. So. Like. Cool. Um. How far away are the people incoming? I'd say they're about 60 feet away at this point. Okay. Um, all right, so it like the amphitheater and all that. Is there like a path under sometimes you know how there's like a space underneath like the chairs and all that? Is there space underneath the chairs? No, it's just there, there are steps that are carved into the rock. Um, okay. And those are the, the seats. I'm going to uh the the far end away from me as I'm running, I'm going to uh cast major image 
to make it look like another portal is opening up and a giant uh, Balgura is coming through. Are you freaking kidding me? A demon gorilla? All right. Um, the, what do they need? They need to roll wisdom check or wisdom save or something. How do they? Yeah, I mean, I th- I feel like a Bulgur will take away like the uh, like the heat off of me for oh, the time definitely, being. Definitely, definitely. Um, I just gotta roll and see if they're smart enough to to guess uh, to catch so, that you're. Let's see, let's see. Uh, you create an image object creature or some other visible phenomenon. No larger than a twenty foot cube. They the rolled a ten. Ap- the image appears at a spot they can see it. Is- it seems completely real, including sound, smells, temperature appropriate to the thing depicted. You can't uh, create sufficient heat or cold to cause damage. Sound loud enough to deal thunder damage or definite creature or small things. Uh, there's no save. This is just something that happens. Well, I rolled a perception check to see if they could see you casting it, and they rolled a 10, so it doesn't matter. They uh, they have no idea you cast this. They <laughs> All they know is the guard is dead. Before he died, he shouted to the one that came to get them that there was someone here who serves demons and devils. And now a portal is opening up near you, bringing one in. So, yeah, they're going to target the Balgura. <laughs> yeah. So... Okay. I'm 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 running and grabbing uh Marcus and pulling him to uh trying to pull him through the portal. So by the time you're you've grabbed him and are well, it, him it, towards it, the portal, huh? Is he like is he fully out or is he able to like kind of like help me a little bit? Like was he Let on the ground? Let me see. Cuz oh, yeah. That's a decent roll. Um I, I say if it was over a 10, he's a little bit, he's like dazed, but he's kind of there. If it's under okay, a cool. 10, um, he's out cold, but he rolled, he rolled over a 10. So he's, he's kind of there and uh, okay. he's, he's able to kind of limp back with you. Okay. I quickly pull him through the portal. All right. Um, as you do, you see a couple who had ran up and attacked it and realized it was an illusion upon interacting, started charging towards you. Um, as you, exit the portal um the goddess just closes the door behind you and goes well that was interesting yeah you can say that again uh yeah not my choice i'm going to have uh, marcus is going to not here to end of this one for a little while that, that was not fun <laughs> she kind of she just like she puts a hand on his injury and heals it up and goes yes i'm sure he will why he why 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 did why did you leave marcus behind also leave him behind oh i, I knew you were going you, to you use insight check all right go for it Thirteen. Yeah, she just she, she's she's omnis- omnipotent enough to know that you are just going to go get him. You are lucky that I am friends with this man; otherwise, I would have left him behind. Well, if you did not, I could have handled it. Cool. Leave it to the like the six-year-old child. <laughs> To bring a grown ass man through the portal. Well, try not to trouble yourself on it too much, okay? We have work to do. Hey, you have work to do, you mean, right? I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, Marcus and I. Okay. Uh. We will tab over for the moment. Oh, yay! Yay, Sulky Locksmith is there. Yes, he's six All now. Right. It's been a year. Um, I know how time flies. Crazy. Good. She's still safe. Still kicking. She probably just gave like a glare at any any street punks out there, and they're like, 
Don't mess with her. Don't mess with her. Don't mess with her. So, um, let's tab over to Abigail. Abigail, you are still standing in the middle of that portal. Uh, well, not in the portal. You're on. You're on your your platform. Um, exactly. Scary dog. I believe we left off with there being some discussion between Histon and the demons and stuff like that. No, no. I remember. Oh, yes! I remember! <laughs> oh, no! Histon's hiccup! Yeah. The hiccup in Histon's plan! Yeah. You have to act as the <laughs> conduit between Histon and translate, because he doesn't speak... He can't commune with, with the with the uh, Seabrix. Um, it speaks telepathically. So you, being the one that is actively <laughs> part of this ritual, has to commune with him. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yes, that's right, that's you right. can't take this away from me. You already gave it to me. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm going to retcon that. He's just going to no! talk. To I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hit, come on. <clears throat> so good. By the way, roll insight. Okay. She never rolls well on insight. See, my, my point stands. That's a six. That's a six? DC yeah. was a five. Oh, wow. Really she easy just, to figure out. She just made it. Just made it. <laughs> I don't know how you just made the easiest DC, DC five. I can set. Um, so basically, the entire reason why you are able to communicate why you're you're the bridge between him it's because he's trying to go over Rodna's head traditionally in a ritual like this the deal is not altered once the ritual is begun which means he would not need to speak to the demon and whatever deal was made before would already just be in motion so because he's trying to go over Rodna Bell's head he's having to kind of do things not a traditional way not a conventional way which means he has to use you to talk to the demon it was not at all part of his plan. It was not at all something he was expecting to occur. <laughs> okay. Ah, so good. It's Rhonda in the room with us right now. He's on the far end of the room. He's over. He's gone into the other portal. The portal that uh, leads to this room that appears to be made of the same slimy black ink as his tentacle tail. And he's... Ubel, it's it's with a B, um, and he's he's gone in there to talk to someone or something. So okay. while he's gone, is like his, it's like okay, now's a chance. Are you ready? And before I answer that, do I know the consequences of being caught doing this? Would it go on Histon? Would it go on both of us? Would it be death? Would it be like, oh, you shouldn't have done insight, that? You don't know. Oh, okay. Should be fine. His, Histon has planned this out as well as he can. But no, but I know he's not. I know Histon you're, is going behind his back. Yeah, I'm talking not, about Rad, what Radna. Uh, it's definitely going to go on Histon. You won't be implicated in any way, shape, or form. But the Sixth Insight, definitely that is. You feel pretty confident about that. <laughs> Abigail, come on, girl. <laughs> okay. The least wise person I know. Well, third least wise. It's, I do actually know people honestly, in real like, life less wise than Abigail. Didn't know that was It's possible. not even terrible. Like her, it's plus two, which is not good, but it's not terrible. Every time she rolls insight, it's shit. It's in character. It's perfect for her character. <laughs> Every single time I roll insight, it's bad, and it's just like. Yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it really does. It really does. All right. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. All right. So tell it. Uh, great and mighty Sibreax, we would like to request a deal with you. Okay, and do do I see the demon? Yeah, you can see it on the other side of the portal. Okay, D do I know if it can read my thoughts? 
um you can you ever since the portals open you could hear its murmurings and abyssal in your head okay so it's gonna have to be an abyssal yes does it speak other languages let me look that up that she would know like if she's thinking i'm deceiving him that's probably not good languages oh never mind it speaks all languages oh. it literally says languages all <laughs> languages? languages yes yeah <laughs> so, so do yes. i know do i know if do i have to be thinking about communicating it or if i think something it knows you don't know It could be reading your mind. Oh, uh, give me an insight check. Oh, wow. Those are so helpful. <laughs> Always. Okay. Well, that's a little better. It's the 12. You could probably surmise that you have to direct your thoughts to it to let it know you want to communicate with it because honestly, listening to everyone at all times is probably overwhelming. So it probably okay. shuts off the telepathy unless someone is like, hey, I want to talk to you. And it's like, okay. Okay. But still, that's risky. Because then if you're thinking like, this is not the truth. And it could just know that you're thinking that. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, that wouldn't be surface thoughts necessarily. Oh, okay, so it can read, like, a surface thought? Yeah, you can think about... Like, your surface thoughts would be what you're saying. That's what your focus is on in the moment. In the back of your mind, you're recognizing that it's not necessarily yeah. true. But it would have to dig deep, and you would know it was digging deep, and be only okay. a wisdom saving throw. Okay, okay. So, uh, she'll look at the, the demon... <laughs> And, uh... But telepathic communication isn't the same as mind reading. Okay. Uh, she will say... Okay. We'll start... We'll be nice at the start. I'll share it. In what do you share? Board. It's Selkie's favorite crush character species. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. We saw it. Selkie it's found this thing lovely. deeply attractive. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she'll Just say... waiting for her to protest. <laughs> probably busy. Already protesting. <laughs> oh, she is, she is protesting. <laughs> yes. She will direct her thoughts in Abyssal and say... Uh, great and mighty Sibriax, our lovely Histon here would like to have a word with you, and I must be used as a humble conduit for your little conversation here, if you do not mind. The demon replies, <clears throat> the demon replies, What has your master to say? Okay, I'm not going to immediately react, but she would hate that. <laughs> She's going to like turn to Histon, clearly annoyed already, <laughs> and be like, what? What next? 
<laughs> I just want to know what you want to say. <laughs> Uh, he's going to go, um, all right, uh, tell it, tell it that, um, the, the terms of the deal has been altered on, on Radna's end. I would like a portal to, I, I would like a series of portals. If he could turn this room into, into a, an, into kind of a, a hub of, a, a conduit, I would like a portal to each continent on this planet. So let me travel to and from each one as I desire. Okay. And she's talking to Histon. Is yep. this like one each or yes, one that yes, goes yes. anywhere? Either one. Either one works, really. If I can get one stable one for each continent or just one that I can change, that either one would be great. Okay, I will ask him. And she turns to the demon. There's so many options. Ah! <laughs> hmm. contemplating my decisions here. <laughs> She's gonna think again in a whistle, projecting. Okay. Forgive the misunderstanding. He is not the master here. That would be me. He is offering his soul so that I may open portals in order to bring myself and whomever I may choose back home. Roll deception with advantage. Oh, God. This okay, feels like a risk. Insight check. Oh, oh, that's okay. That's already pretty good. Okay, and that's bad. It's 25. He rolled a 10 on the inside. Oh my god. I, I should give it to him with advantage. <laughs> that is odd. Oh, that's a 3, so that's even lower. Um, Okay. Uh, Yeah, no, he goes... Your master must owe you a great debt. His sin can't tell how much back and forth there is, right? No. Okay, it's so I don't have to... That's true. I am not certain where you got the impression that he was my master. Because the servant is traditionally the one who runs these rituals. I've never been one for strict adherence to tradition. It seemed that I was the one most qualified, and so I took the position. You are a strange.
Yes. That is so. Is there anything else? She's gonna turn to... Histon. Um, so, uh, just to test, like, the, the viability of your soul for, like, the portal opening and everything, um, can you just do a 360 for the demon? Like, just, just, so it can, like... Roll a deception check. <laughs> 23. <laughs> Thank God I'm good at deception. That's a, cause... that's a two plus three five. Um is he looking Alright. Um Here I am, and he will kind of like spin and be like Does is he looking for like like the worthy to be able to go through his portals? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think it's going we'll do well. another spin. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going well. Uh, was there anything else? No. He agreed to he agreed to portals to was it was it one portal that I can change or is it going to be multiple portals to every single continent? Sounded like one. It's not finalized yet. Let me come back. She goes like the demon in a vessel. That is all I want. This is what you get. <laughs> 360 is <laughs> dead. Yeah, he's he's happy to just keep doing 360s and like <laughs> looking at me like, we good? Do I get the portals? <laughs> oh my god, I actually feel terrible. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the demon goes, very well. Once you complete his soul shall belong to me, and you shall have your portal for your friends. So it is then. Um, the what? Go ahead. I was just gonna the, say she'll. The turn demon off. will kind of summon, and in front of you will appear. A, uh, in front of Histon will appear this this contract in Abyssal. Damn it. <laughs> All he must do is sign. Oh, Histon just signed that. Wisdom check. That's a fail. This guy is shit wisdom, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, even with even with advantage, no, he still right. fails. He's like, all right, and he he signs the contract. Uh, I actually feel so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Then our transish transaction is complete. She'll just kind of like give a little bit of a bow and then turn to Histon. It is done. All right. Oh, that's wonderful. I am. Yes. <sighs> Some days I wondered if this would come and we are finally, we finally made it to this point. What is Abigail's alignment? Neutral evil. <laughs> okay, if it wasn't evil before, I was like, it is. Yeah, evil. no, oh. it was. <laughs> it was always <laughs> evil. She was just well, being actually, nice. at first, I debated putting it in neutral. It and was then I... originally you, going at, to be true the... neutral. Yeah, or chaotic neutral. True neutral, <laughs> and it went to neutral. At, evil. No, at the start, at the start, you your character was more chaotic neutral. Yeah, and then it's progressed to. Uh, just neutral evil, and I feel like you have the you're, potential to get to chaotic evil. You're drifting towards chaotic evil, yes. But isn't that just how you feel about the law, though, and like structures? 
No, chaotic, yeah, but you... chaotic is also... So lawful is you abide by laws, whether it yeah. be your own or otherwise. K neutral is you're kind of neutral towards laws and like, eh, I might follow some of them. Chaotic sometimes. is basically you govern, the, the world is governed by your laws. Like what you personally view as you're like, oh, like these are my personal laws. I don't care what the actual laws are, but these are my rules. Woo! Yeah, I thought chaotic evil at that point was just like do shit just to do shit, like in terms of evil. A lot it can be, but a lot of that is because it's them going, this is what I view things as. Okay, that makes sense. Because yeah. I saw her more as neutral because it's kind of like she won't go out of her way to do it if it doesn't benefit her. But if it does, then yeah, for sure she'll do it. So it's like, but yeah. Well, I would I would say I would say chaotic is the definition of like I do what I want because it benefits me, not because it for anyone else. Okay. Yeah. So he says lawful is society laws, chaotic is personal laws, neutral is you'll you'll abide by a mix of both, depending on your mood that day. Like I thought, chaotic, I thought I thought lawful was like societal or even personal if you're evil, like a an order or something, and then like neutral was like personal or like less, and then chaotic was none, like just whatever, you know, like. But I know these are kind yeah. of everybody yeah, has, <laughs> but it doesn't. I don't think Anyways, it matters it that much matter. what you categorize. Yeah. Numbers. She's doing what she's doing, and it's She's something awful. on the evil spectrum. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. All right. All right. Um, Abigail, it has been an honor working with you. Um, I will not need your services after after this. Um, so I... Um, yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, for all the work and, and sacrifice you've put into this. Uh, you... Is there anything else we need to do? Is there anything else we need to do to make sure this goes perfectly? I need this to go perfectly. What's next? Uh, if there's nothing else, no no other boxes we need to check with the with the Cibriax, uh you you just you read the final paragraph. I can do that. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Uh, let, let me get safe distance over here first and he'll kind of like <laughs> scurry back to his spot in the uh, in the door how are you feeling right now naz it's so bad i what? hate it <laughs> <laughs> the most <laughs> lawful person i have probably ever met playing a borderline chaotic evil character i know i don't even jaywalk <laughs> I forced my family to go to the crosswalk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I do. I feel so bad right now. And I hate that you just said that. Sorry. From uh, as Histon. Now I feel so bad. <laughs> okay. I know Abigail wouldn't feel too bad. This is probably why you're the perfect person to play this character though, is because you feel the guilt that the character does not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> players that feel no guilt don't understand the danger or the irony of the situations <laughs> so this is a perfect character for you <laughs> <gasps> okay. What? Is it my turn? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Do you want to say anything else to the Cibriax, or do you want to just no. start reading the final paragraph? Are we ready to read the final paragraph? There's Yeah, there's no other. Oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naz is getting cold feet. Oh, Abigail's not, but a no. Naz is. <laughs> um, Fine. The, yeah, uh, Radna Ubel has come through his portal and has gone into gone into the one with the living world in it basically okay yeah um, she'll kind of go oh, ahead actually i'll i'll do that i i was gonna say something that rodna did but actually i'm gonna make you do a perception check in a minute so i'll have you do that later 
Yeah, I was just going to say she's just going to kind of like look at Histon and then start reading. All right, all right. As the uh, as the, the crackling energy begins to fill the room, like crackling up, everyone is now like desperately pulling against uh, – Pulling against the the not just the the bindings but now the energy that's tethering them in place um absolute panic among these these kids and uh, it kind of pulls up and then arcs out and you see over at, at the other side of the room this singular portal begins to form um give me a perception check Okay, well that's a net twenty, so that's a twenty six. So net she's looking. Twenty perception. She's okay. twenty six. She's looking. As you, as you, you, you are reading. You kind of glance up and you see. The portal opens to Adania. You recognize. A town that it has opened, to, um, it's it's in your your father's. Not kingdom, but but the the region he governs. Can any bitches step through the portal? Bitches, I don't want through the portal. What do you mean? Can they go through? Yeah, it's a total Radna. portal. Huh? No, mm -hmm. I mean like, Radna, demons, whatever. No, this <laughs> opens to this room. It doesn't orb open to the other worlds. It opens specifically to this room. It is you see it like the lightning arcs over from the energy it's that is pulled up and is forming a dome over you guys now in the room. And it's a one and a bolt of energy is arcing is carving this archway into the wall. And you see like stone splintering as it like like a finger. The lightning and okay. and then the the portal opens as it is formed um, okay. straight from this room to this place it 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 looks almost like it was carved into a tree like you're stepping out of a tree and into a dany you can see down the road in the distance with a nat 20 you recognize the the town below it's it's not three days from where your parents uh rule uh with a nat 20 uh, you also notice, like, Histon has kind of stepped up. He's not left his portal, but he's standing... Well, it's not his. It's the other one. He's standing in, in the, the, the slime dimension, essentially. And he's standing there and kind of watching the proceedings quite c curiously, almost. Um, no, I take it back. Histon's watching curiously. Um, Rodney is watching with this sense of... Almost a sense of, I've seen this done dozens of times before. You get the feeling. With an at 20 perception. It seems almost like a, I'm going through the motions thing that he's, do, stance that he's taking. And you notice this, the, the book begins to levitate from your hand. As this purplish flame emits from under the book. And then it seems as you reach the final paragraph there's a loud crackling sound as the lightning springs forth purple energy streaks through it from the purple flame and it kind of wreaths around like 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 be uh like uh that uh, like braids of hair around a center something like vines around a pole we'll go with that the lightning is the pole then the the purple energy the purple flame is is like a like a spiraling vine grasping and wrapping around it as it reaches the top there's this explosion of sound and you see this opening to it almost looks like space there's just this blackness with distant dancing lights and you hear the screams go suddenly silent as everyone else in the room has stopped moving And we'll jump back over to Sir Wellington for a moment before we continue. Oh, Sir Wellington better not find out oh. about this. <laughs> they said it would be fine. 
So well, I guess I lied to Histon too, so <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, Abigail's just lying to everyone. Um, <clears throat> Histon was technically the one who lied to Sir Wellington. Yeah, that that's what I meant. True. I was also under the impression that they'd be fine because of Histon. That's true. That's true. Um, Sir Wellington, you are with the goddess now and a mm-hmm. barely conscious Marcus. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Nas what, is going to go you... cry now. I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can we break her? What, what? What are? What are you going? What are you going to do now? She goes to the door, which is still being pounded on, and puts her hand on the knob. I think I'm going to have a little fun. Want to join? What sort of fun are we having? She just smiles and opens the door. He he cautiously walks, follows, like follows behind. As you as you walk, you just drop what Marcus <laughs> to the ground. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Marcus has found a no, seat. Marcus, and is kind Marcus of... is able to like move himself at yeah, this point. He's, like... kind of, he's 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 managed to kind of grab onto the seat and is like sitting down, kind of resting and kind of looking like, no, don't go out there. Um, <laughs> uh as you as she opens the door, this rush of uh, this this rush of of demons charge in, and she just sweeps out a sword, and goes, "Let's hunt." What are we hunting? Um, you see. Hang on. Well, first of all, you see a mess of chickens come running in. Abyssal chickens. Okay. A lot of them. They just rush in. Okay. Start pecking. They're not seeming to do any damage to the goddess whatsoever. I mean, um, there's there a pecking are... order. That's why. <laughs> there's a pecking order. <laughs> yes, the flesh Doritos. Uh, there are a number of other... Uh, there are a number of other uh, low power demons that that rush in. Um, several dretches and wretches that they just kind of they they lumber into the room. Okay. Uh, a you see you see this thing that's basically a walking mouth on legs. Uh, this this thing called a ma demon kind of just waddles in almost. They are clogging up the door as they are trying to pile over themselves to get through. Okay. I will give you and the goddess each a surprise round of attack. Since you guys knew the door was going to be open. And then roll initiative. Go ahead and cast another uh, fireball. Burbler, burbler. Okay. Dex save for them. They get a disadvantage as they're clogging up the door. That is uh, calculating in their various stats. A 6 through a 10. I believe those all fail. Sorry, what was that? Uh, 10 was the highest dex save. Oh, yeah, they all fail. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so we got a we got a thirty-five points of damage. Not bad.
35 points of damage to everyone that's hit by this? Yes. Oh, there's not a single one left alive after that. Um. Oh, no, wait. They're demons. They take half damage. Because fire. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see what their stats are. Oh. So how much how much damage was that? Thirty five. Thirty five. Okay, okay. So about ten abyssal chickens instantly just incinerate. Get plucked on. <laughs> just, and they're just, just, yeah, they're dead. They have, they have way too few hit points. Um, the, the dretches and the wretches seem to push off, push back against the, uh, push back against the, um, the spell and mm -hmm. seem... They look hurt. They look hurt bad. But they're not dead. Okay. Well, that's what I can do. So it's whatever the goddess is going to do. Whatever the goddess is going to do now? Yeah, and hopefully she's not just going to go, I'm, I'm holding action. <laughs> favorite thing to do in the other world I mean how would it look if a god was killing one of their own guardians you know yeah, fair enough. gotta keep up appearances for the people These are fun. What time right, do we so need to end by today, by the way? What time do we need to end by? Yeah. Um. Do you have work today, I guess? I have work question. tonight, so yeah, we, we can't go past midnight my time. Yeah, okay. And I have to wrap it up before then anyhow, because... You have to get I ready. I have to get ready. But okay, I want so to make got sure we, we got time We got for... about 45 minutes. Perfect. All right is my guess for you because that will give you about an hour beforehand yeah silky how's the uh how's the drive coming you better not be texting and driving actually um let me see all right so we have these wonderful fellows just give you guys some visuals real quick And then the little abyss chickens. <laughs> we got time. We got plenty of time to wrap up this combat as well as the demon summoning that our wonderful Abigail's up to. Or demon pacting, I guess. Impacting? I don't know. You do what you want. So in other words... Really going down the warlock path now. Really? Just do your best, all right? Keep me updated. Um. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Uh, all right. So, the goddess is actually going to draw her, her blade this time. And she is going to make a couple sweeping motions at these here. Definitely hits. 
and definitely hits and definitely yeah that crits all right okay so the goddess just she pulls out this long elegant blade slightly curved um almost like a no nodachi is kind of the the mid-sized i think so yeah almost like a nodachi and she she just whoosh, swings down and basically cleaves in half several of these demons with with it just one arcing blade as radiant damage consumes them and they just collapse burning with celestial flame uh, onto the ground uh the room is now cleared just between sir wellington and then her now um between her three attacks and then sir wellington's uh you just hack down all of them uh she heads outside where there is what sounds like a m lot more outside uh sir wellington it is your turn uh yeah i will follow outside uh prepping to fireball whatever i see enemy wise out there preface that enemy wise i would give you a perception check but i'm just gonna hand this to you um there are there's just a sea of demons out there they're literally crawling over each other Can I tell where the thickest like group is grouping is? The thickest group is right by the portal that you came out of. Okay, I'm on a pop right over there. Another dex, another fireball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to upcast this one as well. All right. Um. Fifteen does not save, right? No. Nah. Okay. So. It was. Okay. So. Just kick whoop. Pick whoop? Huh? You said kick whoop. I said whoop because oh. I dropped a dice. Oh, well, that'll do it. Um, 46 points of damage. 46? Even halved, not a single demon survives that. Cool. Well, that's kind of the point. Hang on, I gotta calculate how many are in that. It's a twenty foot area. Uh, I think it's just larger than one sec. Um, yeah, twenty foot radius. Running some mathematical calculations here. Thank you, Internet, for my help helping me. Dude, you just killed about 45 demons. 
boom, boom, boom. Even <laughs> brighter than the moon, moon, moon. <laughs> Holy crap. Inside of you. Baby, you're a firework. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, that happens, I suppose. And... I suppose. What else do you want me to say? You just obliterated these guys. Yeah. I was just the I suppose amused me. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> um, the goddess, of course, is hacking away, rolling over here, because just, just for time's sake. Uh, uh, leaving. Um, the what? Cleaving, cleaving, cleaving rolls. Cleaving rolls. Yep, I'm definitely doing cleaving rolls because every single attack kills the equivalent of like five demons. Uh, she cool. deals a lot of damage. Same. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so. Hmm. Okay. Um. I I guess it's back to. Oh no! It's the demons' turn. I'm not giving the demons a turn. I'm just gonna roll as a group for them. Does a twenty-one hit you? Uh, yes. All right. A swarm of dretches kind of lumber over and just start slashing at you with their claws. Okay. Hang on. Got to calculate that times math. Um... Okay, I'll I'll factor it in for you. Um, that's about twenty points of damage. Oh right, it's not Jeez. letting you edit things. Okay. Ooh, ow, yeah, you're looking hurt. Yeah, yeah. The rest are going to attack the goddess. They hit. They deal minuscule amounts compared to her overall health because she's a freaking goddess. Give me a perception check, please. Me? Yeah. Perception. 15. Okay, so first of all, you notice the demons appear very mad at you. No shit. Um, you speak Abyssal, right? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to be muttering slurs and insults at you. I just look you back and yell in abyssal. That's not very nice. They are. They're calling you stuff like, um. They're calling you a monster and a sellout for working with a god. <laughs> and, I, I'm just very, I'm just very confused. Right. Yeah. The other thing you notice with a fifteen is in the distance, I. Uh, very tall individual with literally jet black skin and piercing almost glowing red eyes is kind of watching with his arms crossed from a little outcropping of rock over watching me he's watching the battle and as a whole oh okay And he goes, he unfurls these massive, 
They're either bat-like or draconic. It's hard to tell. These massive wings. And takes flight. As he, um... As he, he just flies down to, uh... Investigate, I guess. He's not landing near you. Not to worry. Um. So, like, can I tell he's looking at me at some point? Yeah, he definitely looks at you a few times. Whip him off. He raises an eyebrow and shakes his head. I believe we're back to your turn. My turn? Yeah. All right, we're going to we're going to chuck another fireball with a lower level spell slot now. Seeing as I have 3 of these ones available. Um you go pa -pa -ah! or the next area like large clustering I see. Okay. Okay. Um, deck saving throws for them. Again, at disadvantage because they're clustered together. Yeah. They still all fail. That's really nice. Okay, that's really nice. Last one, last one. Uh, we'll use the metal one for the last one. Oh, nice. 40. Hey! Yeah, no, they still all die. <laughs> they all die. And we're back to the demons, who will attack you as a whole. Not one to attack you. So, um, how do you describe as you deftly dodge 20 demons attacking you? Um... Um, um, I mean, first of all, they are climbing over each other, so a couple of them probably not one because they just got like shoved down by the ones behind them. But how do you well, I'm thinking, I, like, in my mind, it's like it looks like it looks like that, like, like a wave, like you know, yeah. you know, like, yeah. uh, yeah, they look like a wave, they're like, climbing you know, like, you know, like you. World War Z, where it's yes. like the wave, of yes. he's like, that's like, what I'm picturing, gosh. yeah, they're they're like, so they're it's literally like climbing over each other to get to you. So I, it's me, I like, like to dodge out of the way, slide through the, uh, through through the like the you know the how like waves have like the pipe the hole. I like yes. Sl I like slide through it, <laughs> like knee slide right through that sucker. Cool like, surfer music Whoa. plays as you slide. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as you, it like goes slow motion as you like look up and like one is like looking down like Arr! and you're looking up like hey actually you're probably flipping them off <laughs> like hey <laughs> and <you> slide <laughs> through and it like swipes and just its finger goes into the eye of the one below and it goes oh and grabs and bites his hand and it's like Oh, and now those two are fighting and they're like slow motion falling over and it's causing the wave to collapse now and as you're sliding through like more just as as they begin in fighting just the wave is collapsing behind you and you just yeah and you're well, like you slide out how the, the yeah the wave like, curls like how in. wave curls yeah, in yeah. exactly nice. except it's with their yeah demon nice. bodies and you like you take this like <laughs> cool stance as you you land on the other side <laughs> slide like whoop, up to your feet no problem they just are in this like heap of they're just eating and fighting each other now and you're just there and you're like yeah <laughs> I, cool. I i i'm in that pose and i look over at ollie and just like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> let me give her a little perception to see if she sees that she does she kind of raises an eyebrow in uh <laughs> approval 
<laughs> she pulls out her magical skateboard and is like, watch this. Right. Can you give me one more perception <laughs> check? Me? Yeah, okay. Um... Eleven. Eleven. They've been like slowly deteriorating as I've been rolling perceptions. The first one was like a nineteen, then I got a seventeen, yeah, then I got a fifteen, 15 now I got 11. eleven. Well, luckily for you, the DC was ten. Uh, the yeah, I know you just beat it. Uh, <laughs> I I seem to be lowering my DCs perfectly to match with your lowering rolls, um, because cresting the Cresting the uh, the the top of the rock formation or whatever, just cresting the top of the hill, we'll say, like Gandalf riding up, uh, uh, with with the Aer Lingus and the sun rising behind them at the Battle of Helm's Deep. Except these are hellhound riding demon uh, devils, and with a cry they charge into the fray and start attacking the demons. Because devils and demons don't get along. But there are a lot of them, so it was not a high DC to see a literal stampede of hellhound riding demons. So, with an 11, you don't see other interactions, though, so... Let's go back to Abigail for a moment. Abigail. As you've reached the last couple of sentences, you kind of take a moment and look up as the struggling sacrifices have fallen silent um starting do you want do you want to do you want to say anything do you want to communicate with with the the demon or with histon or anyone or do you want to just continue and read the last sentence as you just kind of take note, none of them are moving. They're all standing there in, in their last moment of struggling against it, but they're just standing there now. Their eyes kind of just darting around frantically. You're muted. <laughs> I've been muted this whole time. I'm so sorry. Yes, you have. Okay. Oh, have you been talking? I'm I so said a couple annoying. things and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. No, no I know. I'm so I know. sorry. We weren't ignoring you. You're just. Muted. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she's not going to say anything. But, like. I think at this point, this is the worst thing she's ever done. Seeing it all oh, like this, she might have, like, a moment of, like, this is kind of bad. But she's still going to do it. We'll see. When you see everything like that, you're probably like, damn, this is eight, fucked up. Yeah, eight children just stopped as they're struggling to get free. Yeah, and you know, like, that dude's going to die who's been helping me the whole time. And, like, she's just, she's not going to do or say anything about it, but she's going to just think a little bit, like, Okay, I was gonna say I mean, if you wanna ask the if you wanna ask the the um Sibriex anything, you can you can do that telepathically and they wouldn't even know Hissin and Co wouldn't even know you're asking questions. Sorry. There's a bug I am taking care of. There. It is taking care of She's she's gonna you. It is bugging me, yes. She okay, yeah, but sure. She'll ask anything. She'll ask the Sibriax um how 
how long would it all take? How long would it all take? Just just ask, how long would it all take? Yep. Oh, it just flew past the camera, I think. Oh, no, that's a gnat. There was just, it was like a termite or a flying ant or something that I <laughs> got rid of. The little gnat is fine. She's allowed. Yeah, gnats are yeah. not a problem. Um... <clears throat> Well, I see the portal. After everything is complete, is he set to walk through, or will you just take him? Or once the sacrifice is complete. What sacrifice? The ones you were offering. Is he talking about the people? Give me an insight check. Oh, really? Is this better? Fourteen? No. Are they having trouble hearing you? Yeah, all of a sudden I'm really quiet. I hear you okay. Beep, beep. beep yeah, beep, beep. we heard you okay. It might have been when you were doing now? your growly voice. Oh. Really? It wasn't, it wasn't quiet before. <clears throat> Well, your growly voice, you just naturally get quieter. I do naturally get quieter. This. I right. just look quieter. Is this better? Is that louder? It's still quieter, I know. It's still quieter, but I can only go so loud when I'm talking through my breath. <laughs> the Cibriax is having technical issues. <laughs> Cibriax, you're muted. <laughs> Listening through one headphone? That's weird. Okay. Uh, 14 for insight. 14 for insight. All right. Trying to see if he's talking about the people. Hmm. All right, so 14. Yeah. You have a sneaking suspicion he's talking about more than just Histon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So the people that are there probably and Histon are going to be just vanished at the same time you're not sure with the 14 okay all right she'll just keep reading then. probably though All right, all right. Um, okay, so you're just going to read the last sentence? Yeah. 
All right, all right. Uh, da, da, da. Give me another perception check. Okay. Uh, 13. Okay. With a 13, you notice the energy strengthens. A white arc of energy shoots out from the book and and kind of arcs up through the, the purple and blue streaks of, of fire and, and light that and lightning and whatever that are they're creating this dome that's arcing this 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 energy that's arcing from person to person here in the circle and then doming up and now it kind of coalesces at this center point in the middle of, of the of the domed roof that it's formed and it shoots up and you see arms reach out and they disappear through the ceiling but you know they're going somewhere And then you hear a soft squeak of terror. As what? <laughs> As the various individuals, the youths that you chose to, to be the, um, conduits in this starting at the point where the energy beams hit them so each one of them has a hand that was forcibly raised as it arcs through their midsection and then kind of draws through their arm and shoots it up towards this this dome ceiling that it's forming the color begins to, to drain and is replaced by this dark obsidian texture. Oh no! And each one falls silent. Oh no! One more perception check. Okay. You upgrade from kid hater. Twenty. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty? Dirty twenty or net twenty? Dirty. Okay. That dirty little twenty. Also, what do you mean by upgrade? You went from being a kid hater to being a kid killer. Oh, well <laughs> they're not dead. They're permanently stuck, I think. They're permanent energy conduits for a demon's purposes. It's hard yeah, you to argue them. which is better than... That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Hey, come on, why am I blurry? Yeah, it's hard to uh, it's it's hard to argue which one is... is Man, I really have been drinking too much. Markham <laughs> am, got really blurry for me. Blurry. <laughs> Stop it. The stupid fly flew in front, the one that I said wouldn't be a problem, and it focused on the damn fly, and now it's not on me. Hello. Hi. Well, stop putting there your hand. Oh, it did work. <laughs> it's like with a baby. You go, uh, peekaboo, and then they're seeing everything in a whole new light. Um, so, <clears throat> with with a dirty 20, you kind of you scan the room like that. And you catch that Histon appears to be in some kind of infernal spectral shackles and he looks very confused uh, sorry but <laughs> <laughs> true villain reveal the fly right <laughs> okay. and then you hear the sound of ice forming as the book drops onto the purple flame that has changed into this purple crystal that is now formed around the book And as you look down, you suddenly can't move either. Hey! The fuck? Okay. And crawling up the arm that's holding the book is that same obsidian texture. 
Oh. Congrats. You not only fucked his sin, you fucked yourself. Congrats. <laughs> he fucked me and I fucked him back. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Lucky low insight rolls. Wow. You hear Histon whispering in your ear, though you you can you can glance your eyes about, you just can't remove the rest of you. And you hear Histon going, "What? What is going on? What did you say to the demon?" Can I talk? Um. Oh. He's using telepathy, the spell. Oh. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, she's gonna say, Histon, do you remember when we first made our deal? You know what you told me a couple of days in when I said I didn't agree to this? No, of course I don't remember. It was not important. You said... You should have read the fine print. Okay. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> I guess so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They just both fuck each other over and no one wins. This What's really up? is a mid-season finale. Come, <laughs> Marco. Wow. Damn, okay. Anything else you want to do? Wait, how much of me is obsidian? Just the arm. Can I cut it off? What do you have I have to a cut dagger. It? I'm going to be Roll... honest. No. Roll dexterity at disadvantage. <laughs> Wait, Markham, no. What about a spell? It's a dagger. No, it doesn't. Like she, yes, she can try, but it's not going to work. She's oh, going to be four, 72 houring this, this <laughs> shit. Here. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Maybe I have something else. <laughs> on oh, man, it's dangling a bit now. Can I get it through? Uh, that, that's yeah. what's gonna. Right. Just so you're aware, Naz, that's exactly what's going to be happening. Yeah, you cannot much. cut off your arm with yeah. a dagger. It's slowly. Go yeah, you can if you try hard enough. <laughs> um, no, not at the speed at which you would need to do it. Okay, well, can I like freeze my arm with a spell and then chop it off with a dagger? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change and say, <laughs> give me an intelligence roll, okay? At, at, um, no, 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 a Constitution check because you are trying to concentrate. You're trying to focus on thinking of a plan. Okay. Con check. Yep. It's not a save. It's just a check. You're just trying to. Okay. You're trying to think faster than the demon spell six. is working. A six. Sixteen. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will let you. You can. You can cast one spell and see if it works. Jesus. Uh, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> How the fuck do you cut off your arm? Yeah, that's Wait, a good question. What's... Ice knife? Would that work? I don't know. Create a you shard of try. ice. <laughs> Create a shard of ice and fling it at wood creature within range. It's a dex save. Can I just choose to fail? Yeah, you can do that. Chop off my arm? It wouldn't chop off your arm, but it you would embed into your try. arm and like encase it in ice right at the point of impact. Hold on, I want to see my spells. <laughs> that seems like the best one you so not, far. Do you just not have any weapons that can like actually do that? I have a dagger. That's a the only wizard, weapon I, I have. I have a staff. <laughs> a Bro, I'm, a w I'm a wizard and I have more stuff. I mean, you're yeah, all talking. Yeah, because you're shoving everything in your bag. Yeah, I, 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 I am. I am a kleptomaniac. <laughs> you're so, a kleptomaniac yeah, a wizard. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a six-year-old child kleptomaniac wizard. How's it going? Uh, what 
What's this? I think Ice Knife is my best bet. All right. I'll cast it at fucking the highest level, I guess. Does mm -hmm. that make a difference at all? More force, more knife, more uh, sever arm. Roll damage. Just roll the damage for it. Cut off my arm, okay? Do it. Why is it 1d10? Excuse me. Wait, is this level 1? Hold on. Okay, so it's six piercing damage. Okay. And the shard explodes. Okay. I'm gonna kill myself on accident. <laughs> uh, and then two d six cold hey, you damage. Because the demon needs you alive. <laughs> Just kidding. No, he doesn't. This is not the same person. And then, uh, so it's what? What did I just roll? And then six. Why is this a weak ass fucking spell? Okay, hold on. No, wait. Because this guess what? The reality on, is outside no, of Fireball, most attack spells, like besides Fireball and Eldritch Blast, most attack spells suck ass. It's true. <laughs> okay, and sorry. It's good. it's 5d6. Wizards are really a one trick pony. Okay, when it comes so... to attacking. Mm hmm. I hope I don't kill myself, though. Okay, 19 cold damage, and... There's a reason that after I got Fireball, I'm like, I'm not going to focus really on getting a ton of other spells that do, like, damage, because I can get other stuff that's really, util like, a utility usefulness. Yeah. Okay, so 6 piercing and 19 cold. All right, so mark off 25 damage to yourself. Okay the heck <laughs> abigail is that enough to lose an arm is the, is the question just when they're the arm, that... bro, i'm just trying to go through the flesh get the fucking obsidian off well, here's of me the thing, though ice spells encase things in ice so like a chunk of your arm no is... no no it's a dagger that goes through and then explodes that's what it says right right it doesn't so, like encase. your arm is frozen through from the inside out from that thing it explodes. It's explodes, blown up. Yes. It, it What's impales your overall in? health? Right now? Yeah. 60. No, it's just in total. 85. 85? Yeah. Not quite enough. Fine, then I'm going to take but... my dagger. Hold <laughs> up, it's still hold creeping up. You, I, you, got, you, got t you had time for one thing. As you withdraw your hand, it, it freezes in place as you cast the spell. What do you mean? There was another bolt of energy through your midsection. What does? What? You're getting petrified, bitch. Oh, 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 there I got it. Bolt of energy <laughs> through your midsection. Hey. God damn it. So while you were focusing Fuck on your arm, bitch. it had been going up, and your, ar your arm just kind of locks in place as you're you're focusing right there on the arm that you were trying to remove. Get off. I'm yep. still petrified everywhere else. Fuck this bitch. Yeah, Abigail is Obsidian, along with the wow. other conduits, which now you guys are just energy conduits. I'm guessing oh. Histon is as well, then? Histon? No, his not. Histon signed a thing that so gave his you were, soul. You were focused on there, but if you want to, you're focused on your arm. Mm -hmm. But if you want to like, glance upward at the last second, you can. Up to you. Well, do my are my eyes gonna freeze? Oh, yes. Well, you can't glance around. <laughs> okay. Well, fuck. I guess. You're being petrified in obsidian. <laughs> uh, okay. You, you remember who our DM is? Yeah, I know. Markham, Markham the petrifier. I have yeah. not killed anyone yet, but that might change. Yeah, no, nope, we, we. I have killed no, Abigail and Micah twice. Markham. Now. I did not say Markham the killer. I said Markham the, the petrifier. petrifier. I anyone. I know this is this is my killing alternative. I need to have a thing. Yeah, I'm cool. We're not going to kill them. We're just going to. We're not trauma. done yet. <laughs> Abigail, you feel yourself being sucked out of your body. Oh. You are now in a spectral form. What that mouth do though? <laughs> what? <laughs> You, 
<laughs> you are now in a spectral form. Your soul has now been sucked out of your body, as has the souls of the other sacrifices around you. Histon, as a whole, is being dragged in through the spectral chains. You are all pulled into the Sibriax's dimension. And the portal closes behind you. And now we pan back to Wellington. <laughs> now we pan back to Wellington. <laughs> wow. So, I, knew, I, knew that, I knew that one was coming. Technically, <laughs> it's a matter for debate. Because if you got somehow restored, which you can't unless it's by the demon himself, your body would just collapse and instantly die. Why? Because it doesn't have my a soul. soul. Can I just <laughs> get my soul back in there and like... <laughs> how does it feel to be how how does it feel to know that your body's now a ginger? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sir Wellington, it is your turn where we left off. Yeah, again. As you said, one trick pony, let's do it again. Fireball uh, on the demons that you just dodged yeah. or other okay then. It, it, well, no, it, it, the, like we're going, we're 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 not worried about those as much. We're going for the thick of it. Like we're the next me... batch of the thickest. Okay, okay. Um, uh, are you trying to attack the devils as well? What have I? I'm not like I'm not discriminating, my guy. I'm just <laughs> going. Oh, okay. Where's the thickest In that case, group? Yeah. Okay. So, at a disadvantage for the demons, just a straight up for the devils. Uh, devils pass, demons do not. Yeah. Okay, so... Thirty-eight damage. Okay. Thirty-eight Just, damage. See, pow, poof, poof, poof. It's like fireworks. a number of them die. A large number of the demons die. None of the devils die, but a large number of the demons die. At this point, the de I devils just yell, have... go back from once you came. <laughs> You shall not pass. You're still like right out in front of the door to the temple, aren't you? You never yeah, really yeah, like ran we, into the fray, yeah. Because you don't need to. No. Okay. Um. This is gonna be fun then because I'm gonna get to describe from Marcus's perspective what he sees. <laughs> Which is him casting a bunch of spells, doing a slide under a wave of demons, and then shouting. <laughs> um, the devils ha pretty much clean out the rest of the demons. They push them back. Uh, the This new individual walks over, and he kind of traces the rim of the portal, and then puts his hand against it. And with some focus, closes it. He then turns and, and faces Ollie and says, Well, that was interesting. I was wondering when you'd show up. There's quite a few of them. I had other things to attend to. And who's this? Um, I'm not quite sure. He was with my cleric, and um, he's quite the fighter. Oh, he is, is he? He's going to walk over. This guy stands at about nine and a half feet tall. Folds up his wings behind him and looks down at Sir Wellington. Who might you be? Fence is asking. That sounds fair enough. Pleasantries are always appreciated. The name's Aideon. Arc devil of the hells. A ruler of this here world.
Well, this puts us into a pickle, doesn't it? I he just looks over at Ollie, like shaking his head. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I've learned a lot of words when I've been with these people, and that was one of them. <laughs> So I'm using it on you because they said it's big boy words only for when certain things happen that are really not good. And it just. You want to explain? She just raises an eyebrow and goes. I'll tell you what. How about you explain? I explain back at the palace. Let's go. Well, you're just going to leave this to the Marcus here again? Again? I don't think Marcus is going to be very happy also about all this. I'm pretty sure Marcus is going to be kind of pissed off. Don't worry. He'll be fine. I have him protected. Lots of wards, you know. I'm good at those. Oh, do you have a ward over his eyes so he doesn't see what the, what the hell this person is here? Child, you fret too much. Or well, small one. Yeah, once Marcus becomes known as a god killer, we'll talk then. Well, no, we won't, because I'm pretty sure you're going to be the one he's going to kill. Do not speak ill of my cleric. He's been very good to me so far. Yo, he's not your cleric, okay? You answered... He was trying to get in touch with other people from what I saw. And uh, he's just been kind of following along because you've been pointing him in the direction of Abigail. So at this point, I feel like uh, that that, that might have been a misdirection. So, you, you know, that that's a whole thing. Um Well, whatever you complain, you're complaining about, it worked. I'm here, safe and sound. Rodney is doing his thing, and I'm not a part of it. Self-preservation is a powerful motivator, smaller one. I suggest you learn it. Now come along, or Hedion can carry you. <laughs> Are you going to start a fight? No. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and cast Blink on myself. Okay. Um, so I need to I need a roll. There's Ooh, my turns. Okay, that's a 17. It passes. Just frish, disappear. And I'm going to then... Uh, now, now that that's happened, I'm going to run over. How far away is my my cleric? He's my cleric. He's he's just he is sixty five feet away. Okay, I run thirty feet towards him. All right. So you're just running into the uh, running into the temple, basically. Mm-hmm. All right. I see. Can you give me a strength check? A strength check? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Fifteen. All right, that doesn't beat a twenty-eight. No, of course not. I am on the in the ethereal plane, just as a reminder. That is fair. But you are visible, right? Um. Man. It says I vanish from your current plane of existence and appear in the ethereal. While on the ethereal plane, you can see and hear the plane you originated from, which is cast in shades of gray. You can't see anything more than 60 feet away. Uh, you can only you can only affect and be affected by other creatures on the ethereal plane. Creatures that aren't there can't perceive or interact with you unless they have the ability to do so. Oh. Not bad. Okay. Let's see here. I just one ringed it. Yeah. <laughs> you just what? I just yeah, one ringed it. it. Yeah. All right. So he will. Hey, Dion, we'll just kind of go and uh, take flight. And uh, now it's your turn. Okay. Well, uh, at the start of my turn, I bamf into a uh, spot 10 feet from me and have to re-roll. So, 10 more feet towards Marcus. Let's re-roll. Come on. Let's get a good. Oh, nat 20. Yeah, I, I disappear again. And I take the remainder of my movement now, uh, which I can double move at this point to get right. to where Marcus is. All right. Hadeon has chosen to enter the temple. With his fly, he's able he's able to easily make it. So he's right there with Marcus as well. Um, one second. At the wall, just the one to cut aside. Um. 
Um, okay. Okay. Um, so, you know, I bamf into place next to him. Going to grab Marcus. Um, and I'm aware, um, like the direction, the like in the in the path we came to get to this temple. Before we got here, were there any hidey holes that, hidey like, holes? within? Did I have any hidey holes within 500 feet of this location? Were you sleeping in a hidey hole? I mean, it's Sir Wellington, probably, unless they were in a cave. Oh, you guys were sleeping in a cave. Is there a cave? Is there a cave nearby that is not the temple? Yeah, there's a within five hundred, within five hundred feet that is not connected to this. So is it my turn right now? It is your turn. Okay. I grab Marcus and I'm going to dimension door. All right. To the this this like cave hidey hole area. All right. And pull him with. All right. Give me a perception check. Um, that would be a 15. 15. All right. You can't be certain, but you get the feeling they might know where you're going. And that's where we're in the session for tonight. <laughs> okay. Did you have another plan? Did you have something else you wanted to do? No, I would. I honestly, I would keep dimensioning door. Like I can use it. Uh, what you can call it? I can use it one more time with the spell slots I have. Oh, nice! So I would have done it one more time, like five another five hundred feet, another five hundred feet away. Yeah. So at that point, yeah, because it's one action, just. At that point, far enough along that theoretically should be like give us enough of a head start that we can disappear somewhere. Yep. <laughs> All right. Sir Wellington and Marcus make their escape. Abigail betrays her mentor, and her mentor betrays her. <laughs> what a shock. Right? Um, wow, such good people they are. <laughs> Who's surprised? Right. Um, thank you to everyone who has joined us. Uh, this is our mid-season finale. We won't have a session next week. I'm not sure about the week after that, possibly. Um, but we will be back when we're back. Um, Ian, good luck with summer camp stuff. Yes, we will miss you. Be back in mid and August. Mm -hmm. and uh ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah uh you guys have a wonderful night thank you for joining us uh outros abigail i'm nice i played abigail <laughs> i don't know if i still do <laughs> we'll find out next time yeah. Hey, it's a good, it's a good it's a good thing that you have another character already right? in on the continent right Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. She is. We know canonically she doesn't get off it for another two years. No. It, oh, kind of, well. You have another character on the yeah. island, so. Or on the continent, not island. But, yeah. you know. Yes, but it's complicated. <laughs> we get it. <sighs> Anyways. Um, I'm Ian. Yeah play uh sir wellington who is very confused and very not sure what's going on right now 
and is going through uh, dealing with a lot of Im- internal turmoil and emotions, and he's not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. And it did just occur to me that if they wanted to, they could have counterspelled your, your spells, but they didn't. Partially because I forgot that was an option. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Wellington escapes on a technicality. <laughs> hey, you know what? There, I've had many uh, instances of that as a DM myself or as a player where I realized, ah, oh, I could have done this and life. like, and could have done a whole lot better if I had actually like <laughs> remembered I had X, Y, and Z. And then I'm like, damn. That's a mood. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Selkie, I'm so glad you got home in one piece. And uh, stay lost, everybody. Just like Sir Wellington. He is very lost.